Now, cancer is, a low, uh, cancer is a percentage of people's cells, is a low one, but it damages the entire body when it spreads to vital organs. And feminism, feminism has spread into almost all of American public life with potentially deadly consequences. This um, happy-looking group of ladies, they are ladies, they are ladies, this happy group of ladies has been, has been corralled into joining the military. Well, women in combat, um, is a touchy subject because, of course, there are some wonderful and, and, and uh, esteemed examples in history of women who have done very well on the front lines. The problem is that in order to widen participation in the interests of diversity, standards are being lowered in the military. And that has some very obvious consequences. Women die. Men die too. And the combat units in the Marines in the United States are 69%, I think 69% less efficient when they're mixed. But it's a weird sort of thing. It's kind of imposed by politicians, by political correctness, by the progressive left, on the military top brass. And nobody really wants it. And it seems to me the greatest argument, I mean, I, you know, I could share some statistics with you, but I think the biggest argument against this is that it represents a sort of new barbarism. It's barbaric for us to expect our women folk, you know, to expect the people that we ought to be holding on a pedestal, the mothers of our children, the people we should love and cherish and protect. I don't give a shit about that, you know, breast cancer you know, that gets more money. Who cares, really? But isn't it barbaric that the mothers of our children, our daughters and our sisters, are being, ex are being flung on the front lines? Against their wishes, by the way. I mean, most, you know, the, I think it's something like uh, 6 to 8% of the quota they wanted of women are actually signing up. Women are getting sort of nudged into this, encouraged to believe that this is a good idea. That we're going to put these people in, in Afghanistan? What kind of society wants to do that to its women? Seems to me one that's, that's slightly sick. Lowering standards doesn't just, by the way, affect America's ability to win wars. Lowering standards disproportionately affects women by, as I say, getting them killed. 